Truly efficient intersections are the holy grail of traffic control. But what makes a really efficient intersection? Research suggests that the most important setting in an actuated controller is vehicle extension intervals, and that means passage time. When traffic engineers lower passage times and rely solely on detection to extend green times, the results can be amazingly efficient intersections. But lowering passage times means using longer detection zones. According to the Traffic Signal Timing Manual and Traffic Detector Handbook, when using long loops, passage time intervals are generally set at zero or near zero. So, how long is a long zone? In terms of size, we're talking about zones that are at least 60 feet long, and honestly, there are few detectors in the market that can reliably and cost-effectively provide that kind of coverage. Loops have traditionally been used, but they aren't the best option. Why, you ask? Well, they're expensive and disruptive to install, they're a nightmare to maintain, and let's face it, loops have their performance issues. No, the ideal detection is non-intrusive, and that's where Wavetronics comes in. Smart Sensor Matrix mounts above the ground on the same side of the road as the desired detection area, and it accurately detects vehicles up to 140 feet away. Matrix works by generating 16 separate high-definition radar beams, which sweep the detection area in a 90-degree arc. This allows Matrix to detect both moving and stopped vehicles, making it the only radar traffic sensor designed specifically for true presence stop bar detection. But that's not all. Matrix allows users to create their own detection zones, and these zones can be configured in any quadrilateral shape you want, and more importantly, in any length that fits within the detection area. Suddenly, there's a non-intrusive radar solution that provides valuable data for a number of different intersection operations, including through-phasing and protected and permissive left-hand turns. The greater efficiency possible from Matrix leads to gap reduction, time and cost savings, and better all-around intersections. But I'm getting ahead of myself. First, let's talk about through-phasing. For an effective matrix installation, create zones to detect vehicles in any of the through lanes that are within 65 feet of the stop bar. The output of these detection zones should be mapped in the controller to call and extend the through phase. Set passage time between a half a second and one second. A half a second if the posted intersection speed is 25 miles per hour or less, and one second for speeds 30 miles per hour or greater. For protected permissive left-hand turn phases, use two detection zones in the left-hand turn lanes. The first zone should be about 15 feet long, with the leading edge around 50 feet behind the stop bar. Set a delay of 2 to 3 seconds for this zone so that it will only create a call when the queue in the left-hand turn lane extends back to this zone. The output for this zone is used to call and extend the left-hand turn phase, and its passage time should be set to 2 to 3 seconds. The second zone is configured so that it extends from a few feet in front of the stop bar to around 50 feet behind the stop bar. Map this zone in the controller to call and extend the phase with a passage time of a half a second. Trust me, the effects will amaze you. This second zone and its half second passage time are also very effective for protected left only phases. I know, I know what you're thinking, you're the traffic engineer here. So let's get right to the heart of the matter, which is how you can benefit from Matrix's long detection zones. So let's address gap reduction. This is a controller feature that reduces passage time to a smaller value while the phase is green. But if the passage time is already set to a lower value because you're using long zones, then your system has inherent gap detection and you don't even need to turn it on in the controller. And guess what else? You can still safely achieve gap out through the same detection. So why does this even matter? Well, if passage time is reduced by just two seconds and traffic timing operates on a 120 second cycle, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, then a single driver on a side approach of an intersection could save 146 hours of delay each year. The TTI Urban Mobility Report estimates delay to cost around $15.50 per vehicle per hour, 
so the delay savings we're proposing could equal approximately $2,200 per driver per year. And since there is likely to be on average more than one vehicle waiting on other approaches, the delay savings could be significantly greater. And savings are further compounded by each phase at each intersection where passage times have been reduced. You can create the most dynamic intersections imaginable by simply combining long detection, courtesy of smart sensor matrix, with dramatically lower passage times. To request a demonstration, visit wavetronics.com.